Hello, YouTube. As many of you are probably aware, Reaper Bones has started experimenting with a new plastic that they're calling Bones Black. And this year, during January, if you ordered more than $40 worth of merchandise from the web store, they would send you a complimentary owlbear. I received one of these and was pretty impressed with what I saw, and it got me thinking about where miniatures have essentially evolved from over the past decade or so. So this is the Reaper Bones Owlbear in the original plastic, and it is based on a metal sculpt from Reaper. And if we just take a look at how the details on this are formed, this simply looks like it's been brushed. So we have mostly bear with a little bit of owl here on the tail feathers of this one. I don't think the detail is particularly good. Uh, and unfortunately, this was one of the only sculpts that was available for a few years. Wizards of the Coast had been making several series of these plastic miniatures. This one has some feathers and we have some fur that moves in different directions like bear fur probably does. And we generally have the shape of a bear with some owl features. This next one is next chronologically, which is the WizKids Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures Owl Bear. Uh, this is part of their pre-primed ready to paint series. And like I said, it's an unboxing video so I can be one of the cool YouTubers and plastic part comes out of the back. <clears throat> There's the plastic tub. But here we have an owlbear in an aggressive pose, a good beak, and there are even uh, teeth in that beak, which is, I don't know, maybe a bear crossed with an owl would have teeth inside the beak. But true to the Deep Cuts name, there are very deep lines that make up the fur and feathers here on the mini. Uh, the fur moves in multiple directions. There's the hint of a tail. Uh, the wing on this side also has good detail. You have some padding uh, on the paw, so it looks like a bear paw. Um, which then brings us to our final, the star of our show, if you will. This is the Reaper Bones Black Owlbear comes in two pieces. The feet have pegs that go into the base. could be glued in there, and mine uh, doesn't really want to fit, so I would probably need to heat this up and try to move it or shave off part of this peg to get it to fit. But from a quality standpoint, Again, it's a active pose. Uh, we have good detail on the forehead, good detail around the eyes. It is a multi-part cast. Uh, again, we have good feathers. These are better defined than either the Reaper Bones or Wizards of the Coast. Possibly not as well defined as the WizKids. We look at them side by side. I don't know, that's hard to say. These are larger feathers that have the, the color feathers in there. Uh, this is fairly thick, which is a complaint that I've heard from some folks that have done reviews. This thickness allows them to do it, to make a cast that can get this sort of compound curvature to it. Uh, mine doesn't have any damage, unlike some other reviewers, it does look like it has mold release on it. So I can definitely see that there is an evolution in these miniatures uh, as time has progressed. And side thoughts, I think WizKids is forcing Reaper to up their game. Um, I think the work that WizKids is doing uh, inside the intellectual property of Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder, it's forcing companies like Reaper to look at the line of castings that they've done 
and they probably agree that they are not the best because of the materials that were available. They have access to new pourable plastics, and they have access to new methods. So I am hopeful that the Reaper Bones Black will bring us a lot more high definition, high quality miniatures from Reaper at a cost that is comparable to or lower than WizKids, whereas Reaper can take their existing creature names and character names and redo the the sculpts in this new plastic 